So I put up a video earlier, but I decided to take it down and completely redo it because I was rambly, I misspoke, and I just, I wasn't happy with it at all. Um, so I wanted to start the video with these three words, death, rebirth, revolution. If you're familiar with Sailor Moon, those words might sound familiar. That is the specialty attack of Sailor Saturn, the Sailor Guardian of Silence and of Rebirth. And basically what she says in the Sailor Moon Crystal anime before executing this attack is, do not despair. The beginning and rebirth always begin with the end. And I feel that that's where we are living. We are living in the end and we are witnessing a rebirth. And I just wanted to give out some of my thoughts and feelings on this whole process. First of all, I'm really glad that people are starting to appreciate the little guy even more. Healthcare workers and truck drivers. And let me tell you something. Those people are not the little guy. Those jobs are very hard and they are... I think that they are... Every job is important, you know? Every job is important and... Every job deserves equal recognition. And because of this, it is my hope that eventually we reach a point in society where we do not need to worry about earning money to put food on the table. Now, will we do our jobs? Absolutely. But we will do them with a sense of this is my passion because... There are people out there who have such wonderful passions for things and they've been either talked out of them because it wouldn't earn them a living or they've been um, forced into a job they didn't want to do again to earn a living. And I just think that that needs to, we need to come to a point where earning a living doesn't have to be something we need to worry about. And going through this transition, going through a societal, a global transition towards a society where we can peacefully coexist without worry about war or famine or financial hardships, overcoming our, basically overcoming our tribal instinct right overcoming our tribal instinct our 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 inbred need to compete you know peacefully realizing that hey we i don't need to compete against her or i don't need to compete against him or you know just because somebody is this this and this doesn't make them any less of a person You know, and also being fluid in the mind and being flexible in the mind. And what do I mean by that? Um, I personally do not believe in organized religion. I am open to the possibility of anything. Um, rather than saying for certain that God is on a cloud in the sky up in heaven, I mean, number one, how do we know it's a God? and not a goddess? How do we know that there's just the one instead of many of them? And the other interesting thing is this. If you take a look on Google or if you watched Bill Nye uh, growing up in the 90s as I did, you will remember that um, we talked about how we are basically made up, the same, the, up of the same stuff as stars. And as such, the way I see it is we are manifestations of stardust in a way we are God. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's, oh, you know, I need to be a good so-and-so because I'm going to the afterlife and it's going to be a wonderful afterlife. Well, what if, there? just what if, you know, what if we could have the ability to create our quote-unquote heaven here on earth because we didn't have to worry necessarily about being punished or, or, um, you know, or after, basically what I'm trying to get at here is this. 
Why are we saving heaven for later when we can build it now? Right? And, and in order to do that, I feel that it's important that we remain flexible and open to change instead of trying to cling to peop, uh, you know, beliefs that you know what? What if one of these days a religious text is com proven completely infallible, uh, completely fallible, right? Completely, um, completely inaccurate, com just wrong, right? So what if that happens, right? One of a flexible mind will be able to say, well, you know what? They've got a good point, and continue living their lives without any conflict, without any war. And that's the sort of society I'm hoping that we're awakening to this awakening to this this revolution as I see it is an awakening of our souls to a higher state of consciousness right to a higher state of being and the more people that wake up the more people I think that we'll be able to really push ourselves forward towards a peaceful, carbon neutral, you know, prosperous world that, you know, say our children and our grandchildren and our great grandchildren will be very happy to live in before it's too late. Um, this, this, this has been hard for me to make because I've basically been falling apart over the past two months. It's just really hard to, to watch all this that's going on, it's just nuts. So I'm hoping we come out of this with a better better understanding. What do you guys think? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully I didn't misspeak this time. But just in case, let me sum up. <coughs> all I want is for people to realize that life is the greatest gift and we can all love one another without any worries in the world about, you know, who who's the better this, that, or the other, without having to worry about putting food on the table, because those needs will be met. D does, does that make sense? All, all I want is for everybody to be happy and live peacefully, that's that's all. And I'm hoping that this rebirth, quote-unquote, is going to lead us towards that. But what do you think? Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day.